Hello everyone and welcome. It is now 2019 and it's in the middle of winter here. However, the winter we're having is very mild. We're not having much snow, so which led me to get up back in the mountains to see if I can find anything. So, I was looking at the topo maps and there's a depression here, so I thought there was a runoff stream, which there is. Here it is, it's nothing much. The water's not flowing very fast, but it's something. There's some rocks in here. I'm just gonna check out the area. I'm not expecting to find anything, but that's why I'm out here to see if I can find anything. That's a piece of feldspar. But this is back in the mountains of those metamorphic core complex system. So the rocks here are made of uh, nice, there's some pegmatites and there's also some granite bodies. Here's a chunk of the uh, rock here. If I get, get it in the sunlight, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Um, right there, you see that? Now that may look like gold to you, but it's not. That is, I believe, chal chalco pyrite, copper pyrite, basically. It's one of the pyrites, but on the camera it looks just like gold, right there. So don't be fooled. There's a chunk of pegmatite, I believe. Let's see, it's in, that's lodged in there pretty good, but there's lots of pegmatite material out here. There's lots of nice. It's well, I'm going to see what I can find. So what I'm doing now is getting these rocks out of the way. So I can get down to the main bedrock. These are all loose rocks, so... There's lots of crevices and cracks, so if there's any heavy materials like gold, they should be down in here, deeper. But first I got to get rid of, like, rocks like this out of the way, so I can gain access. And then once I do that, then I'll scoop up all the loose material and see what we find. That's the bad thing about winter. The water's freezing, so not good for the hands. What's interesting is, even though these mountains are metamorphic mountains, I'm still finding some sedimentary rock in my pan, and that's probably from the glacial uh, outburst floods from the Ice Age. Uh, they came ripping through, through this location and um, probably threw up some uh, sedimentary rock up here, which means uh, it would have washed any, probably any gold that was up here. So anything that is here has to been placed here in the last 10,000 years. All right, well, no gold, but we're getting into the black sands, which is good. Getting big old rocks out of the way like this, so I can get to more of the stuff underneath. There's some, still some rock down there that's causing me problems. I gotta get it out. Yeah. Glad I brought my classifier. All right, I just got done painting out this material here, and I've done quite a few pans, and I was beginning to wonder where are the garnets, because these mountains are loaded with, loaded with them, and I haven't really found any until now. And right there, that is a little tiny garnet right there. Almost a perfect crystal. It's really deep red, you can see right through it. And there's a little more in black sand. And there's a couple more garnet shards in here. So I'm just now starting to get to the garnets. And I forgot what specific gravity garnet has, but the fact that I'm just now finding them means I have probably a lot deeper to go before I have a chance of finding any gold. But that garnet right there is pretty nice looking. If it was only a little bigger, it'd be perfect. Hopefully you can see this a little better. Kind of looks like I poked myself and I'm bleeding. But that's the garnet right there. Just a tiny little thing. That hole just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Keep removing lots of big old rocks out of there still. Still haven't gotten to the solid bedrock, but it can't be far because I am on a mountain. But again, what I'm doing is sampling these runoff areas. And I'll sample this one briefly. And then there's another area not too far. There should be another runoff. And what I'm gonna do is work my way across the side of this mountain to see if I can find anything. I'm not too far away from where I found a little bit of uh, flower gold, 
and again it was really small amounts the camera makes it look larger than it actually was and historically there was a prospector about that direction maybe not even a mile he bought a homestead or he started a homestead on his property and his house was against the mountain here and he himself found a little bit of color now there is a story i know i don't know the guy personally but he had a friend and this is several years ago um he had a friend that said there was a gold vein out here in these mountains somewhere and the exact location of course was not told but it's in these mountains somewhere and if i remember it's in the saddle they call it the saddle part it's where the saddle connects to the bigger part of the mountain and there's actually a couple places where it does that but somewhere out here supposedly there's a gold vein to be found so it's kind of like a legend that hasn't been confirmed yet so i guess my point is if i was out here just to find gold i would be going to the other mountains where gold has been found before but i want to see if i can find some myself in areas that haven't really been prospected before so i'm kind of seeing if there's anything out here to see if i can make any discoveries and maybe find that mysterious gold vein but if i really want to find gold i want to come here i'd go again to somewhere that does have gold i think i'm finally starting to get down to the bedrock however there's lots of grooves and i can't get the sediment out of those grooves so if there's any gold it's going to be in those grooves and i can't get to them so i'm gonna have to come back with some kind of tool or something the other thing is i'm losing daylight because sun's going down don't have as much daylight in the winter time and i think there's a snowstorm moving in but i think i'm going to head up the mountain and see if we can find anything interesting all right well i'm all packed up let's head on up the mountain see if we can find anything interesting well this isn't the most exciting thing but you don't always find what you're looking for but let's see if we can find anything up here like maybe some quartz veins or pegmatites or something this is the kind of material I'm looking for, and I'm not seeing much of this in that runoff stream I was just at. Some quartz, this is a pegmatite. See that? That's a whole bunch of biotite. Some more right there. Look at that material that I just found. Almost looks like little bits of galena. Might take that with me. Look at the mineralization on that rock. Lots of uh, muscovite, it looks like, Mike. Some other stuff. It's got a nice sheen to it. Very metallic looking. Doesn't mean it is metallic, but. Now, the other thing about the rock out here, it's highly weathered. There's lots of organisms that like to live on them, like this mossy stuff here, but this is a quartz vein, actually. A little bit of the, you see this gray stuff here? That's like the moss or fungus material that grows on the rocks here. And if it was completely covering this rock, I wouldn't have identified that this is actually a large chunk of quartz. So we got a pretty solid vein right here, or a chunk of it anyways. And right there, looks like another part of it. So there's a, there's a vein here. It runs probably down that way into the trees. Again, my point, there's so much vegetation out here, you can't see the vein because it's pretty much buried. So there could be some stuff out here that no one's found yet for that reason. And this will conclude it for today and I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Take care.